Okay, so now let's look at some um, example problems um, that uh, for lines um, and for linear models and for slopes. Um, so the first question says, find the equation of the line that has a slope 3 and passes through the point um, 1, negative 2. So for this, we're given our slope, which is 3, and we're given our point, which is 1, negative 2. And we're asked to find the equation of the line. Well, we're going to use our slope, uh, our point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're going to use this, and again, it's a formula, so we're just going to plug in the information that we have. So we start off, we get y minus our y1 coordinate, which is negative 2. So we're going to plug in negative 2. We then plug in our slope, which is 3. We multiply. The x stays. And we subtract away our x1 coordinate, which is 1. So plug that in. And then we want to simplify and put it into slope-intercept form. So we go through. This becomes y plus 2 equals 3 times x minus 1. So we can break this apart. We get y plus 2 equals 3x minus 3. And finally, you get y equals 3x minus 5. Okay? If we follow this along, so I just distributed between this line and this line, and I added, or excuse me, subtracted 2 from that line to that line. So we get our final slope-intercept answer. <clears throat> um, example 2 is going to ask us to sketch the graph of each equation. So this is where we're using our slope-intercept form of our um, slope-intercept form to help us out. I mean, the slope-intercept form looks like this. y equals mx plus b, where when we have y isolated and everything else on the other side, we will have our slope as m and our y-intercept as b. So I'm going to go ahead and draw big axes here. x and y. And I'll do these in some different colors. So first one we're going to do is y equals 2x plus 1 y equals 2x plus 1, we can see that our slope is going to be 2, because that's what's attached to x, and our intercept is going to be 1, because that's the extra constant. So I just want to make sure that I've got all this set up. So first point is here. It's our y-intercept. So let me do this in red. And our slope is 2. So what we need to do here is we need to go up to and over 1, and plot our next point. So this represents the slope of 2. Up 2 and over 1. And then we draw a line. So that is our red line. That is a perfect sketch. Our next one here is going to be y equals 2. Well, in this case, there is no x. You can notice this. There's no x. So what does that mean about the slope? That means our slope is 0. So all we're left with is our y-intercept, which is going to be 2. So we go draw our y-intercept. And since the slope is 0, it just goes sideways. It doesn't go up or down. So we've got our y equals 2. Simple enough. Our final one I'll do in pink. Here we go. And we've got 3y plus x minus 6 equals 0. Well, you'll notice it's not in the form that we need. So we've got to go ahead and convert that first to get y equals mx plus b. So we're going to have 3y plus x minus 6 equals 0. We want to solve for y. So we're going to move our x and our 6 over to the other side. You're left with 3y equals negative x plus 6. 
and we need to divide each side by 3. So we're going to have y equals negative x over 3, which is also the same thing as negative 1 third x. And 3 divided by 6 is going to be 2. So we've gone down this list, created our y equals mx plus b, and now we're ready to graph this. So first off, we go to our intercept. Our intercept is at a positive 2. So we're going to go ahead and plot our point at 2, which is the same as our green one was. Now we have a negative 1 third x. So our slope is negative 1 third. It is going down. Well, either way you can think of it. You can think about this in a few different ways. I'm going to attach the negative to the 1 instead of the 3. Um, I'm going to go down 1 for every 3 that I go over. So now I've got to, I've got to draw a couple more lines over this way. So I'm going to go down 1 and go over 3. So my next point here should be at 3, 1. And then I'm going to connect these. So we've got three different lines here, um, all of whom are around the same amount, around the same place. But what we need to make sure of is that we first have it in the right form. And when we do, we can graph very easily. We find our intercept, and we use our slope to make our second point, and then we just draw our line through that. Um, last example that we have is it asks us to find the equation of the lines that pass through 2, 1, or excuse me, negative 2, 1, and are parallel and perpendicular to the line 2x minus 3y equals 5. So we're given our point, which is um, negative 2, comma 1. What we don't have is our slope. We don't have that, so we need to find that. How do I find my slope from here? Well, if you look back at our previous example, our slope is just whatever number is attached to x when we get y isolated on one side. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the same thing. So if I have 2x minus 3y equals 5, I want y by itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 3y to each side, and I'm going to subtract 5. So I'm just going to, I'm going to shift things around. So I'm going to end up with 2x minus 5 equals 3y. I then need to divide by 3 on both sides. And I'm going to end up with y equals, and I'm going to split these up, okay? This is fine to do. I'm going to get 2 thirds x. and I'm going to get negative 5 thirds. So this is, this is what the uh, slope-intercept form of my line is. Sometimes you'll see people write lines like this up here. They call that the general form. It's not very useful um, for, for many purposes. This is the more useful version. Um, so we're going to use this to find our answers. So based on the slope-intercept form, whatever number is attached to x is our slope. So here it is going to be 2 thirds. So if I have my point and I have my slope, I can now use the equation we used in the very beginning, which is my point slope. And I'm going to use this to finish my answer. So my point slope form is, again, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I just need to plug this information in. So I'm going to get y minus my y1 coordinate, which is 1. And that's going to equal my slope, which is 2 thirds, times x minus my x1 coordinate, which is negative 2. And I'm going to get, oops, change color, negative 2. Okay, so now I just need to go through and simplify this. So I get y minus 1 is going to equal 2 thirds times x. Remember, this becomes a positive 2. I'm then going to break this apart and add 1 over. So I'm going to get y equals 2 thirds x plus 2 thirds times 2. 
right, well, if you treat the 2 like it's 2 over 1, when we multiply these, you multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together, and so you should end up with 4 thirds, and then we're going to add that 1 on at the end. Well, this together, 4 thirds plus 1, um, 1 can be treated like it's 3 thirds. There's multiple ways that you can add these together. Um, I've taught you all how to add fractions in different ways. Um, but very simply, if you do 4 thirds plus 1, you should end up with the answer 7 thirds. So that is um, our line that is parallel, or excuse me, perpendicular, excuse me, perpendicular to our other line. Now, if we want the slope to be, or excuse me, this one's parallel, sorry. This is a parallel line that goes through the same point as this up here. Now, if we want a perpendicular line, perpendicular, remember, we need our slope to be negative reciprocal, right? So the slope from the first is going to be now negative 1 over itself um, for our second. So this is our second slope. So we still got the point negative 2 comma 1, but our new slope is going to be negative 1 over 2 thirds. Okay? Which, if we simplify that, it's going to be negative 3 halves. And we've worked on this before on how to divide fractions. Remember, we just flip this and multiply by our numerator. Our numerator is 1, so we just get negative 3 halves. So again, we use our point-slope form. And we're going to have y minus our y1 coordinate, which is 1. That's going to equal our slope, which is now negative 3 halves, times x minus our x coordinate, which is negative 2. So pretty similar to the other one. The only difference is that our slope is different. Um, and then we simplify. So we get y minus 1. This is going to be negative 3 halves x. Negative 3 halves times, this is a positive 2 again, remember? So if we multiply this by a positive 2, we end up with a negative 3. And we're gonna, then going to add 1 over. So you get y equals negative 3 halves x minus 2. And this is our perpendicular line to um, the line before that passes through that particular point. So this line, y equals 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds, and y equals negative 3 halves x minus 2, both pass through the same point, negative 2, 1. They just have opposite reciprocal slopes of each other.